Hi, Don Buley here at the uh, Euphoria U School in Carlsbad, California, and I'm here with Mirza, my global team member. And today we're going to talk about making blondes look more natural. And I'm sure a lot of times you see people walking down the street and the hair is almost whited out. You know, the hair color is totally, you know, stripped out of the cuticle, no hair color left. It has that just bleachy kind of look. Natural blondes are three different colors. You know, they're, they're not just one solid color, they're three different colors. And that's why it's very difficult for people to, uh, you know, achieve that look. So we're, we're going to work on a couple tips, right, Mirza, on Absolutely. how to, you know, get your hair to look more natural, which will be prettier. And once again, put golds in it, right? And exactly. golds always make your hair look beautiful versus white. So Mirza, you want to share with us? Yes, sir. So when we're talking about naturally blonde hair, like Don said, natural blonde hair, when you think of a child, you think of a young little girl mm -hmm. or young, young little boy, um, they have dimensional blonde hair. So it's not one solid color. You usually right. have a deeper base. Um, with deeper color underneath the top layer and then you have brighter pieces in the front of the hair and on the top layer That's how the Sun highlights the hair. Okay, so naturally highlighted hair has three or four different Shades or tones in it right. and that's what makes it look natural So when you go into a salon and you talk to a stylist about natural blonde be aware that it will include more than one color um, when you bleach your whole head out and then it starts to look white that's not natural. That's a cosmetic color. You're not fooling anybody. We all know what looks natural yeah. and what doesn't. Ghost white, um, perfectly platinum, purple tones, all those things are cosmetic fashion colors, which mm -hmm. are fine. But when we're talking about natural, we want to look at a palette like this. Something like this that has a lot more beige and golden tones to it. Something that looks reflective, looks natural, um, has a lot of shine to it, a lot of reflection. Doesn't just absorb the light, but actually bounces back off of it. Um, so these types of colors are the healthier looking blondes. So you may want to have platinum streaks, that's fine, but then have a deeper version of a gold color and then a deeper yet low light to blend the two out. And what you do, your stylist's creativity plays a huge part in this because the way that they place the highlights is how you make it look natural. For instance, this is all natural tones of blonde. When you put ashy tones next to the gold and beige, you see the difference. This is not a natural blonde color at the bottom here. So you want to make sure you stick with something a little bit warmer. And again, you want to make sure you're going to, to a stylist and salon that's very well educated, that continues their education in the color department, and that have different options for you. If somebody tells you this is your only option, this is one way to do it, that's usually not the case. There's always more than one option when it comes to hair color. And that's the great thing about it is we can work with whatever your budget is, whatever your desired result is. As long as you come in for a consultation, we'll be much better um, prepared to serve you. Absolutely. And once again, sometimes you might need one, two, or three consultations to really feel good about the information you're receiving. And we always suggest to do that. And if you don't feel comfortable and you don't think the hairdresser is knowledgeable, you shouldn't do it. And especially a system like this at home would be very, very difficult to do because it does take someone very knowledgeable to Absolutely. pick the colors out right. So, you know, I hope this helps you. And once again, uh, this is Don and Mirza, Euphoria International. Mm -hmm.